I'm Mark Callahan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. You all asked for it, I'm gonna deliver it. You said you wanted to see my thoughts and feedback on the Hanna Calcium Checker, and that's what I'm gonna cover in today's show. Now, if you haven't been watching my show and you don't know what a Hanna Checker is, I'll bring you up to speed real quick. The Hanna Checker is a new line of test kits that lets you get away from those annoying kits that require you to count drops and compare colors on a color card. So nothing's worse than looking at a vial in a, a test tube, and the colors in here, and then looking at a color card and going, well, is this green, blue, or blue, green, or a little bit of green and more blue? I can't tell. Those color cards are annoying, and with the Hanna Checkers, they're becoming antiquated very quickly. So today I'm gonna show you the Hanna Checker, show you the steps that it takes to run the test, and give you my feedback on it. And with that, let's get started. Here's what the steps are for checking calcium with the Hanna Calcium Checker. Turn on the checker by pressing the big black button. Once you see C1 in the screen, the checker is ready to go. Next, add one mil of reagent A using the enclosed white syringe. Next, add nine milliliters of deionized water to the vial with the supplied dropper. Yep, you have to use DI water for this test, which is a bonus if you have your own RODI unit. If you don't have your own RODI unit, your local grocery store probably has a DI water that you can use. Once you've added in the DI water, cap the vial and place the vial inside the checker. Then press the big black button. Next, take out the vial and add 0.1 milliliters of water from your tank to the vial. The easiest way to get exactly 0.1 milliliters is to put in a full milliliter of water in the syringe and then press the plunger down to the 0.9 milliliter mark. Then add one whole packet of reagent B to the vial, cap and shake. Wait 15 seconds for the air bubbles to settle, then place the vial on the checker and press the big black button. Voila! There's your calcium level. Dang it, I need to turn down my dosing pumps. My first reaction to the checker is, whoa, there's more steps to this checker than the other ones that I've seen. Now, at first that was a little bit intimidating and honestly I was a little bit disappointed. I was hoping that it would be one or two steps and then be done. But after talking with Hannah and understanding the chemistry that it takes to run an accurate calcium test, I understood why they had to include the steps that they did. And Hannah did a good job of giving us syringes that are easy to use and instructions that are easy to use to get the steps exactly right. So I'm okay that there are more steps for this test, especially if it's gonna make the test more accurate. And speaking of accuracy, here's another thing that jumped out at me about the Hannah checker. Hannah advertised that the checker has an accuracy of plus or minus 6%. Now I have a stock solution of calcium where I know exactly what the calcium reading is of that solution. So I popped that solution into the HANA checker and found that the accuracy was even better than advertised. It was down around the 3% range, so props to HANA. I'm very impressed that the checker is more accurate than advertised as well. And lastly, I have to say if I had a complaint about the checker, it would be that I don't know about red. I mean, red is my favorite color, but I think I would have saved red for the nitrate checker. That way if your nitrates are really high, the checker would glow and beep and make an end of the world sound kind of like this one. But for now, I'll live with that the calcium checker is in red. Here's another thing that I like about the calcium checker. Hina did a nice job of designing the packaging so that everything fits inside nice and neat. The powder reagent fits right under the calcium checker itself in its own neat compartment. Awesome! That means the lid actually closes now. What does Mr. Saltwater Tank think about the Hina checker? Well, overall, I'm very impressed. Hannah has done a good job. They've added another great product to their checker line. I'm simply never going back to counting drops or using color cards, and the calcium checker is the answer to that. Now, yes, there are more steps involved with using this checker than we've seen with other checkers. The chemistry for checking calcium in your saltwater tank dictates that if you want to do it accurately. But Hannah's done a good job of giving us steps that are easy to follow and giving us the right gear that's easy to use to make sure you get those steps right. Honestly, unless you're a complete utter moron, you really can't get this test wrong. So good job, Hannah. I'm impressed with your work. If you want to pick up your Hannah Checker, follow the link at the bottom of your screen. Now, I have to say this. If you work at Hannah, again, good job on the Calcium Checker. But could you hurry up and get us the other ones? I'd really love to see that Magnesium Checker and the Nitrate Checker. I mean, it's not like you guys got a lot to do. It's about to snow up there and you guys are gonna be frozen in for the rest of the winter. So if you're working, Hannah, Good job, but get back to work. I want to hurry up and get the other ones. <laughs> I'm Mark Callie and Mr. Saltwater Tank. This has been Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. 
Until next time, have a good one, enjoy your tanks, and know your tank personality.